Ya. Mysterio B. I like that. What's up, guys? Um, excuse me if I'm not talking right and I feel a little loop or I sound not feel. I sound a little loopy because I. My gabapentin and cyclobenzaprine uh, has kicked in, and it's very hard to communicate with others when I'm on it. <laughs> but that's not what we're here for today. We're here to talk about sovereign citizens. Uh, and how oh boy. they like uh, you can't be a sovereign citizen. You're already sovereign, and you're already a citizen. Uh, but but you can't you you can't go and say I'm a sovereign citizen, and I can't like when I say that I, you can't just go and think that the law doesn't apply to you because you say you're a sovereign citizen. I, me and Jason watch a lot of uh, body cam footage mm -hmm. of people. And, and, and you can tell which ones are the meth heads. You can tell which ones are the drunks. You, you can tell which ones are the sovereign citizens. Mm -hmm. I just, just like, I, I've been to jail, okay? And these stops these cops give and, and just hearing these people who just do not listen to what the cop is instructing you to do, which you should, uh, it, it <laughs> you really get to a sense of how people are in a lot of ways watching these body cam footage, uh, and the sovereign citizens are ridiculous debate lords. Uh, I I think debate is a reprobate practice. You can read it in Romans one that it's part of the actions that are required to call one a reprobate. Uh, Christians should not debate because it's a reprobate action. Uh, and I think it is a reprobate action because if you're in debate mode, you do not listen to the other person. You're just so hung on your own ego and what you think and what you perceive. Uh, it's almost like they're in another dimension and they're f trying to knock onto the other dimension and it doesn't work that way. Listen, yeah, that's what I'm about to say. Listen, listen to the cops. When they tell you to give you your license and registration, you get your license and your registration and you give it to the cop. Here, sir, in fact, it probably be better to have it next to you before the cop even comes to the window because you know that's the first thing he's going to ask is license and registration. But these people, these sovereign citizens, they do not listen. They're just stuck in, whoa, man, why'd you pull me over? What law did I break? What did I do wrong? It couldn't, it could possibly, some, he saw like a taillight out and you didn't know about it and... He just wants to help you. Like, if you have a taillight out, you shouldn't, you're not going to get ticketed. If if you're repeatedly told that you have your taillight out, then you would get ticketed. But 
If it's once, you're not going to get ticketed. You give your license and registration over. He tells you your light in the back of your car is out. And then you go to the uh, automobile place and, and, and get the fucking, you know, light bulb and put it in your freaking car and there you go. It's that easy. But no, these sovereign fucking citizens have to argue over every goddamn thing the cop is saying. Mm -hmm. Every little thing and debate them over it. Whoa, why do I have to do that? Why do I have to do this? I'm a sovereign citizen. It's like, dude, just because you label yourself or identify yourself as a sovereign citizen doesn't mean the law doesn't still apply to you. It does, you dumbass. And you cannot be a citizen and a sovereign as well, by the way. If you are a citizen, you are a part of the society. You're a, you, are, you, are, you have your papers, you have your social security number, you're a citizen. You can't be sovereign citizen. That doesn't even, it doesn't compute. But you're in the United States, so you're already freaking sovereign. You're either a sovereign or you're a citizen. Yeah, but you're still okay. free in America. But when you're involved in, when the law is talking to you, or the judge is talking to you, you, you probably should listen. Instead of thinking you can blow your freaking mouth off. And, like, dude, it's not good. It's not good arguing with a cop, and it's not going to do you any good. You're still going to get arrested. You're still going to go to jail. You're still going to get processed. It doesn't matter. Listen, the times I've gotten arrested, I was an idiot. I acted like a fucking idiot. And it didn't help me. I still ended up in jail behind bars and processed. Do I regret said actions? Yes, but I have mental problems and I did things that were not good. But I got therapy and treated myself and learned how to listen to cops instead of acting like an over-emotional stupid mess. But then again, it's very hard for me and my emotions, because I'm borderline. So when my emotions are heightened, you're just going to receive trauma responses. And I'm I'm not saying that's right, because it isn't. It's an inappropriate way how to, to communicate, but that's why there's therapy, to help you learn how to cope through situations like that. Um, but... To go along and just argue with the cop the whole time, not listening to what he's trying to say. You know, cops, they're just doing their job. They just want you to listen to instructions. You do set instructions. You go peacefully. Yeah. You know, hand, they're going to put handcuffs behind your back. Yeah, you're going to have handcuffs on behind your back. And no, it doesn't feel good. It's very uncomfortable and it's painful. <clears throat> you don't want to do that shit. You don't want to go to jail. It'd just be better if you just listen to the cop and then you, you, you either get a ticket or they they just give you a warning and you're on your way. No, they have to argue with the cop lay their arms up like something really bad is happening and get the cop all nervous and then you get thrown in jail for resisting and corruption. That don't do that shit. Don't do that shit. I well, just what? When it comes to court, too, they have no argument because unless they have no social security number, if you if they have taken the time to relinquish their social security number, they could make the argument that they're a sovereign on the land. They can do that. 
But if they still have an active social security number, if it goes to court, it's very simple. This man is under the system of the United States government. Simple as that. You're born into slavery with a number. That's the way it works here. So you can't be a sovereign. You got a social security number. You can't be sovereign. That's it. But like the book closes after that, it's over. But you're done. The Constitution says we're sovereign. Uh, where? Well, what specific clause or? I'll show you. Okay, you'll have to get into it. You're gonna have to show that to me where it says sovereign. I don't think they. But it doesn't. It doesn't. It doesn't really matter because if you're on the land, you have to obey the laws. Yes. Okay. It's that too. It's not like you could go to a different, like for instance, you can't go to a different country mm-hmm. and act like an ass. Right. And then you get arrested in that country and be like, "Oh, I'm an American. You can't arrest me." No, they can. You broke the law in their country. Yeah. You know, I advise people if you go out of the country. Uh, please read up on the rules and the laws of said country you're going to. Yeah. Respect their customs. Yes, respect their laws and customs. Yeah. Don't be an asshole. Don't go. Don't go into someone else's country like, oh, I'm American. I'm gonna, my laws still apply to me. And then, and then you end up getting arrested because you were an asshole. You know, just respect shit. When you're around cops, respect the cops. When you're in court, respect the court. Mm-hmm. When you're in someone's country, respect their laws and and customs. It's that easy. And then you wouldn't get in trouble. And you wouldn't be like, I can't believe I got in trouble. Well, yeah, you did. I own my shit. Anyway, you got anything else to say about sovereign uh, citizens? Uh, no, the main thing is if you... I believe that there's a very valid argument for every sovereign citizen quote-unquote argument. Uh, it's valid. But if you still, like I had, I still have a social security number, I would never make any of these arguments to anyone because I still have a social security number. If you're serious about that movement... You're in that movement and you want to make these arguments in front of a court. The first thing that you need to do is you need to relinquish your social security number and you can do that. So if you want to be a true sovereign on the land, do that. And then you can make those arguments. But you'll never be able to get a job. No. And (laughs) Shani also makes a great point that could be a killer in court too. You're on the land of the United States. So you're under the laws of the United States, regardless if you call yourself a sovereign. It doesn't matter. You're under the law, still. So I think there's no good argument that a sovereign guy could make in court, especially given the fact that you're under maritime law. You look at the the flag in the court, and it's got a gold, uh, what do you call, trim on it. And that tells you that you're under maritime law. So you really have to know U.S. maritime law when you're in front of a judge if you want to make any kind of big moves that are valid in court. Okay, when you're before a judge, it has to be by the book. So you need to know their book plus the sovereign book, which they have their own book too. Okay, it's a serious movement that could you could make arguments. But at the end of the day, you're in America. And we have laws. And if you're violating those laws, state or federal, you are liable. Yep. That's it. That's so, it. Be lawful. Yeah. <laughs> that would be my yeah, message. Yeah, be lawful. Stop doing dumb shit. Don't be like Captain Chaos Trump, who wants to break laws deliberately to try and change the Constitution to his ends. Don't do that. If you want to change the Constitution for some reason and it's valid, have the discussion. But don't be like Trump. Whatever's me is me, and it's 
godly. I don't know what the hell he is now. I, I have no idea what he is. I don't care what he is. Anyway. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Accordion hands. Hissing. What a weird person. <laughs> so many people are weird. He ain't 2016 Trump. That's I, all I know. I know that. He ain't even close no, to that. I, I don't, don't even... No. Out of his mind. No, I'm just... I'm, like, just really tired of seeing people making asses of themselves. <laughs> Including myself. I just want real... I, I Like, real friends are a good thing. It like, people be, that are actual friends. I, I don't know if that's possible. Not now. No, it's not. But, I mean, I remember in the past having actual friends, and it's nice. You know? Yeah, but they all left you. Yeah. Because I was going to be outspoken about stuff that they didn't want to be attached to, I think. Oh, God. Which is fine. I, I've let that go. I understand. I wish people were loyal. They're not. No. Especially if it's going to impact their lives. Yeah. And that's what I think my case was. Yeah, I'm not innocent on that situation either. I've separated from people over their dumb shit, too. You have to. Kind of, sometimes yeah, you, you kind of do, especially when you know they're breaking the law and you don't want anything to do with that shit. Yeah. All I don't. Right. I don't want to get in trouble because you're a dumbass. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. All right. So, the lesson for today is follow the law, and you won't get arrested. Keep your hands to yourself. Don't debate. Learn to listen more. You know, there is there is a reason why God gave you two ears and one mouth. You should listen more than speak. And yeah. Peace and Maranatha, people.